What's going on everybody? It's Nice Pants Lance. You knew the day would come. We're doing a first ride on this 2015 Yamaha V-Star 1300. Those that watch my last couple of videos know that this is my best friend's first bike. And we did a couple modifications to it, like pulling off this back seat, tilting the handlebars forward, putting on these six inch floorboard extensions, and we also installed this Cobra pipe. So this is not a bone stock V-Star. This has definitely got some mods to it. I'm about six foot tall. 240 pounds. I got a 32 inch inseam. So I guess these days that's considered middle of the road. Enough about me. Let me tell you a little bit about this bike. Um, obviously it's a 2015 so it is fuel injected. It is liquid cooled. It's got that radiator in the front. The motor's 1300 cc's and it puts out about 71 horsepower and a little over 80 foot pounds of torque. We got dual disc front brakes in the front. This is belt drive. Definitely set up for touring. It does come with stock floorboards, which are equipped with a heel toe shifter. Now, I've never used a heel toe shifter before. You might remember the first ride I did on the CBO Softail convertible. That did have a heel toe shifter, but I did not put it into use. This bike is in the same category as the Honda VTX 1300, the Harley Davidson Sportster 1200, um, the BMW R1200C, and even the Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster 1200. Let's start this thing up. Nice, those Cobra pipes sound great. All right, swing a leg over it. This seat height is low, like really low. I can flat foot no problem. I'm flat footing and my legs are bent. My legs are fully locked, just putting these things on the floorboards. You know what, I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to try out this heel toe shifter, whether I'd like it or not. We got some buttons and switches up here. Looks pretty minimalistic. Um, we got a selection switch right here. Looks like it gives you time, your odometer. Um, you got trip meter one, trip two, and that's about it. No tachometer on this. Oh man, very notchy. You know, before we leave, let's get a little low speed maneuverability here. Okay, so I'm doing about nine miles an hour in this parking lot. It doesn't really want to do under 10 miles an hour, but so far it's pretty stable. My legs are out here because of the floorboards, but it's it's very stable. You can feel that weight though. 
This bike weighs about 600 and this bike weighs about 670 pounds wet. Its most prominent engine characteristic so far is the torque. I can definitely feel that torque. You know, you basically, you don't even have to give it any throttle. You don't even have to give it any throttle off the start. It's got so much torque, it'll just, it'll get you going. No problem. That Cobra pipe sounds, that Cobra slip-on sounds great. there okay so I don't know if it's just the way that this bike is set up but it it feels like feels like it just wants to go straight just the way it feels when you're cruising straight and how stable it is in the, the long sweeping turns. This is definitely a great touring bike. You can pretty much tell that by looking at it, but. Okay, because of the floorboards, I don't get much lean angle here. This thing just wants to glide straight, eat up a lot of miles, and it's got that nice torque. Man, it's really, it's really got a nice sound. Put a little load on that 1300cc motor and it, it's got this very percussive beat to it. Very percussive tone, especially when you put a lot of load on it. You can really feel that torque. I believe this is a five speed. I, I want to say this is five speed. This feels really good. Nice, this is super stable. Like look, I can, I can literally take my hand off and it just glides right around that corner, no problem. Man, this bike does have a lot of balls for being a 1300cc. And I don't mean that disparagingly. 1300cc's is way more than enough for a cruiser like this, especially one that weighs slightly under 700 pounds. Let's see if we can get a zero to 60 out of this thing. Okay. On the on the desalerate right there. I like it. I like the way it sounds with this cobra pipe. You know that was very impressive. This motor doesn't mind handling slightly higher RPMs. A lot of the twins rev higher and feel like they kind of give up after a certain RPM. This motor really doesn't mind being revved out a little bit. And man, the stability in those sweeping turns. This definitely is stable, you know. This couldn't take a very tight turn, but it takes the subtle turns very well. I mean, you just kind of tip it over. These bars are pulled back. My feet are way out front. You know, my preference isn't to be sitting right on my tailbone like this, but I will admit, this is super comfortable. I don't feel too awful stretched out, and the stock seat 
provides a decent amount of padding for being stock. So I will say this is super comfortable. Revin and revin and revin, and it doesn't really mind it either. And with a decent amount of power, comes with more than decent brakes. There's nothing like dual discs. There's really not. You know, don't get me wrong. The uh, the Vulcan S and the Suzuki Boulevard, those are great bikes, and the brakes are adequate. But these dual discs. This is what you really need to get out of a sticky situation. When you see a tunnel, you have to rev. That's the law. Okay. Just absorb those railroad tracks like they were nothing. Man, I gotta come to a, to a crawl on my speed twin. You could pick this up anywhere from like five to nine grand on the used market, definitely. I know, because this is my buddy's bike, so. I love the heel-toe shifter now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. I can't tell if it's any easier than normal shifting, but I really feel like I'm on a drum set right now, the way you kick it around. The throttle's cable, but the throttle is buttery smooth. It blips pretty good. It blips really good, actually. It's very responsive. Doing high speeds, this seating position would definitely turn you into a parachute. But man, for what this bike is designed for, I, I really couldn't ask for more. You you'd have to you'd have to really be a performance junkie to expect more out of a out of a cruiser like this. Well, that's all I got for the V-Star 1300. Great cruiser. I'm a little jealous of my friend. Stay tuned and you'll see more of this bike. If you enjoyed this little first ride, give this video a like. Want to see more like this? Please subscribe. Peace.